Hey guys, welcome to your weekend edition love in general reading. This is for the element of fire. So if you are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of August 23rd through the 25th, 2019. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do give you clarity. Uh, also, Friday is the day that I collect the payments for your readings. So if you want to book um, a video or email reading with me, uh, payments are sent out on, uh, collected on Fridays rather. And you can email me for that pricing info and um, book your reading. All right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the chariot. We have the king of swords. We have the ten of, I'm sorry, the nine of coins. We have the king of coins. We have the tower. We have the nine of cups. We have the four of wands. And we have the nine of swords. Okay, so with the central issue being the chariot here um some of you may feel as if you are being torn in two different directions here uh, or pulled in two different directions and you're having to make some sort of choice uh between mind and heart you know in order to make this decision here you could be dealing with two different people um, hold on you guys bestie I'm doing a video you're not on but let me call you back alright bye <laughs> okay so um yeah you might feel torn between two different people um, maybe some of you are dealing with the Gemini since my bestie is a Gemini <laughs> and then we do have um um, you know, the king of swords here. So maybe some of you are torn between an, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, and an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, maybe they're coming towards you. And I see like some sort of tower moment happening regardless here. I feel like something is happening and it could be a pleasant surprise because we do have the nine of cups coming afterwards and then also some sort of uh, celebration or some sort of festivities here um, and it's like although I'm seeing like happy things happening oh my timer um, there's still a level of anxiety going on with you guys you still may end up overthinking something um, or you're constantly dreaming about someone or you can't get someone off of your mind or maybe this is how someone is viewing you now looking at the image on this card something may be confirmed that someone has been watching you someone has been observing you um, maybe someone is constantly trying to find out what you're up to now I don't have the seven of swords out in here but maybe it, it feels like why is, am I consumed with this with the thoughts of this person so it could be that someone is trying to think about manipulate you through telepathy um, or they're just in your energy field and the reason why you're consistently thinking about them is because they're um, they're thinking about you um, now something may come at a surprise or like something's being confirmed here though. Like I feel like you're going to be caught off guard. The tower is going to end is indicating here that whatever you are expecting to happen, the complete opposite may end up happening um, or just something just completely different. This is some sort of ginormous plot twist to me. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, it's almost so ridiculous that it's funny it seems like you're like this is so ridiculous that I can't do anything but laugh about it um I don't know too if someone is coming at you with some sort of secret or if they reveal something about themselves or reveal their feelings to you or expose their feelings to you 
um, whatever it is, I still feel like it, it, it shakes your foundation here. It shakes your foundation, but it brings you laughter. You're going to be laughing about it. You're happy. You also may be surprised that maybe someone wants to marry you or be with you or take things to the next level with you. Um, this also could be some sort of unexpected visitor, especially maybe in the middle of the night. You're like, who is at my door? Um, I know some of you are like, it better not be. I mean, I don't blame you, <laughs> but it could be some sort of unexpected visitor coming to your home, waking you up in the middle of the night. Um, maybe it's not necessarily coming to your home, but maybe it's like you get a phone call in the middle of the night and it's like, okay, guess where I, where I am? I'm in your neighborhood or something like that. Um, I'm also getting energies of confidence and insecurities. We could be dealing with those two type of energies. Like one person is coming off very confident and the other person is coming off as very insecure. Um, I also feel like someone is getting the courage or some something out of the blue, someone gets the courage to come forth like a secret admirer Someone is definitely getting something off of their chest. In a love situation, I see this as if someone is wanting you or coming or has been desiring you, this is them coming directly at you and they're not allowing any distractions to get in the way because because they've made up a decision that they want to be with you or that they want to move forward with you. So they come at you um, with a strong will. Um, they they feel like they're going to be the the victor in this situation, especially if they are competing for you. Like someone is coming out victorious over the other people. They're like, no, I and I and I know I don't know if you guys are cross watching, but I guess I'm getting like a similar energy where if it's competitive energy, someone really feels like you and them should be together. So they're they're coming at you and knocking out the competition or they're coming at you at full force. Someone may be on their way to you. So again, with the visitor or the traveling, someone may be coming to your home or talking about they want to visit you. If you're already in a relationship, something could have been going on where you guys were undecided or being pulled and, and didn't know which way to take the relationship. Should I stay? Should I go? And then something happens where someone says, no, you should stay. And so they fight for you or you fight for them. And now all of a sudden we have a foundation that is being established. Now I also see something unusual, like maybe you just moved into a home and discovered that it's haunted here. <laughs> it looks like maybe there's some sort of nightly disturb disturbances. It's like you just settle in and you're happy and you're like, oh, I like this new home. And then all of a sudden think you're hearing weird sounds and you know, just feeling like you're being watched and you're like, I think something's in this home. So I know that's going to scare some people, but it does look like that to me. Like you discovered that there is some sort of presence in your home. If that's the case, just do some sort of cleansing. Um, I'm not an expert at that. <laughs> you know, I just know what I would do. Um, so hopefully you can maybe find someone who is good at clearing spirits and energies from homes. Um, I also see the tower as this foundation. It had to be destroyed so that something new could be established here. So I got this, like I said, I got it in another reading to, I think two other readings, the tower has come out. So some of you may be getting prepared. Maybe you've already been having dreams of premonitions about it or forewarnings. Maybe you've been seeing sevens 
or maybe you've just been seeing some sort of repetitive number. Maybe you've been seeing nines. I got three nines out. So there's going to be some sort of completion. And then the this is a completion too with the, the four of wands. This is a foundation being established. Something is being completed. Maybe you are going to know where you stand in someone's life. Or maybe you're going to know where you stand at a job. Or maybe you are proving to some sort of job that you you know your worth. And you're like, I'm letting go. You know, I don't need this job anymore. Maybe you're moving on from one job and moving on to something else. And it just happens out the blue. I know I got the tower before, like when I quit my job. You know, it was like I kept getting this in readings. And I was like, I can't see that happening. And then one day it just happened. Is something set me off and I just I walked out I just walked out um, so I don't know if that is something that could happen to you but it is it catches you off you surprise yourself with whatever happens too because that's is that this that almost looks like my reaction I was walking out the door with a smile on my face like is this really happening am I really doing this and then at the same time it felt like it's no turning back um, so something happens, you might make some sort of rash decision that is the best decision for you, or someone comes charging for you or pursuing you that is completely unexpected, that puts a ginormous smile on your face. It's like, this is reason to celebrate. Something also could be going on where maybe there's a, a surprise party or you're, you have some sort of chemistry with someone that you meet at a gathering this weekend. Or if you go somewhere where they're socializing and drinking, it's like all of a sudden there's chemistry and you'll understand why you were guided to this place. You're like, now I understand why spirit forced me uh, to go, to come out of my hermit mode and to go out. It's like, because you got out of your hermit mode you bump into the right person or you bump into the right opportunity. So let me look at the tower. Uh oh. Oh, I think someone's going to open up with how they feel very unexpectedly or in a way that you weren't expecting. Okay, let's clarify the tower. It's like someone cracks open or someone blows their top off. I don't know. Something about your home could change drastically. Or someone's real identity could get exposed. I'm also feeling that you might be realize that you have some sort of telepathic connection to someone and it gets confirmed. Yeah, you're getting some sort of unexpected disruption, just like that phone call. If someone has been very guarded or standoffish towards you or you towards them, I feel like that comes to an end. Like we're going to have closure. That cycle is coming to an end. If someone blocked you, someone is not they're ready to open up and talk or if you you know block somebody now you're letting your guards down um also someone may just be uprooted and relocate it's something very unexpected about someone's home base that's being uprooted now, if this isn't something that happens over the weekend then it could extend out to Libra season. Um, boy, something else I was getting here. That's why I kind of paused. 
I don't know why I'm wanting to say something about a honeycomb. Something about a honeycomb. I don't know if bees, bees are significant. I know earlier this year for my personal self, I was having like a bee problem. Maybe you're going to have some sort of realization about bees or the nature of the bees or what the bees were doing. It could be any spirit animal for you or any type of insect that you feel has been like your spirit animal. Um, but for the most part, this either looks like some sort of unplanned trip, like you going somewhere or someone coming to you because it's something you're being forced outside of your comfort zone here. The tower is forcing you to either open up or the tower is forcing you to move on from someone as well. So that's another thing. Like sometimes, especially if you were torn in a situation or stuck, you know, the, and, and you were, nothing was happening or something was stagnant. It's like something happens with the tower where it's like, okay, now we make the decision for you. Um, so you are either being forced away from someone or forced towards someone. Man, there that thing goes with the house again. Maybe it's a surprise party or a housewarming party um, or a reveal, gender reveal, baby, baby gender reveal party. Or maybe someone reveals something, uh oh, <laughs> something to you. <laughs> something about that air energy is really seems like a big deal. Um, Maybe you're confessing something to an air sign or a, an air sign confesses something to you that gives you encouragement or inspires you or you suddenly become inspired to speak your mind. Oh, the see that torn situation. So the tower, someone look, it, oh wow. Okay, the tower looks like there is a situation where there could be earth, air and fire connecting um, something going on some sort of love triangle um, now some sort of weird theory that just popped in my head is that if there was some sort of mystery to someone it could be that you find out that they are one and the same person or that they know each other I don't know why that is some sort of unusual phenomenon but I'm getting but I do feel like regardless you're going to come to some sort of final conclusion and if it's a love situation you're deciding on who you want to move towards you're also being blessed or guided in you know in the right direction regardless if you believe it or not too um, this could be your spirit guides or your ancestors kind of intervening to assist you um, or maybe your ancestors are playing Cupid, taking you out of one situation and placing you in another. They're like, it's for the best. I do feel like you're going to be happy with the Nine of Cups here, that the fact that something's being established. Let me look at the Nine of Swords really quickly, and then we'll do some energy cards. Someone is trying to get your attention or has been trying to get your attention. If you've been ignoring anyone, I feel like they're really going to force their presence upon you. I didn't mean to make it sound like a novel. <laughs> force their presence upon you. So for me, something I feel is going to be revealed in a dream or has been revealed in a dream. This is also going back to some sort of telepathy going on between two people. I feel that you're also having a spiritual connection with someone and maybe it gets confirmed. Maybe it gets confirmed that, yes, I've been sending you messages through a dream. Um, it could be, too, that if you've been logged off of social media the minute you log back on you're going to see a message that you weren't expecting and it's like a pleasant surprise it's like i didn't think i would hear from this one 
this person or I didn't think I was going to get a request from this person. Um, I do feel like someone has been trying to get your attention and now you are acknowledging their presence here. Something's getting revealed, man. Someone is definitely also kind of uh, opening up. Someone is, is taking some huge risk or huge sacrifice to reveal something to you. Maybe someone was having anxiety or someone left you hanging or someone left you on hold because it's something that they had to tell you or share with you. Maybe it has something to do with their career, their occupation or how they made money. And all of a sudden they're just kind of saying, OK, let me share with them what I do. You know, maybe someone does something ridiculous, like sends you a video of what they do. And you're like, oh, my God, like you're a celebrity. <laughs> Or you're, you know, you're in, you were in a video or you were in a movie, you know, so something, I almost get like someone surprises you by revealing something about their occupation here or what they're known for doing. Like this person is maybe well known or well established or has some sort of, um, image to uphold. This could have been why someone was having anxieties or why someone was uh, reserved. But now they're being forced or is something maybe they feel threatened, maybe especially if you disconnected from someone, maybe they're feeling threatened by that. And if, you know, in a last final chance to rescue the relationship, they're like, OK, let me tell them why I didn't want to open up or why I was being guarded or closed off. Yeah, see, seven of wands, this is someone who definitely is going after what they want. They're not backing down. They're not taking no for an answer. Um, maybe someone just does not want you to go or they're doing things to win you over. They're competing for you. If this is you, this is you coming out victorious over your competitors. This is you standing out from the crowd. Um... I also feel like someone is fighting to get your attention. You might be unaware of it. Someone is waiting to hear from you. Um, or maybe you're hit waiting to hear from someone. But I feel like someone's trying to get your attention. Maybe you turned your back on this person. And they're like, did, did they get my message? And so they do something extreme to get your attention here. Oh, or they confess something. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of unexpected communication with you guys. So let me go ahead and look at the energy cards. All right. Oh, my bad. Additional messages for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so we have central issue, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, Cornucopia, second chakra, Archangel uh, Ariel, Ariel and Gabriel, I don't know who I said, attachment. Okay, so I got a similar message in air sign with the attachment and fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So I don't know if you guys are linked to air signs. Um, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like what's happening is that someone's speaking. Someone is being vocal about how they feel or what they want. Um, and because of that, 
there's going to be abundance with cornucopia here. Uh, this is having an abundance of things that you find desirable. Um, it's like wish fulfillment. It's, it's equivalent to Ten of Pentacles um, and maybe Ten of Cups, but it's some sort of fulfillment. It's abundance here. So I feel like you're going to have abundance, whether it's in love, career, finances, recognition. Um, it's like saying you're going to have more than enough. Now, for some of you, I'm getting this as you receiving a, like a bunch of spirit messages or synchronicities because I feel like spirit, spirits are trying to get your attention by any means necessary. So I feel like you're going to see some sort of extreme um, synchronicities and coincidences over the weekend. Um, I feel like also if this chakra was blocked, the second sacral chakra, I feel like that is something that will become unblocked. And with attachments, I'm seeing like mask falling off. So something could be revealed, especially we had the tower come out. So someone's mask could be coming off. Um, someone could be revealing themselves or this could be someone's desperate attempt to get you to notice them or you do something very extreme or desperate to get someone's attention here. But I feel like it it works. Um, I just feel too that maybe you are going to be surprised at what you find or what you discover about someone or even what you discover about yourself. Like the blinders are coming off with this energy here. Someone has been kind of a slave to maybe an image that they were upholding. And it's like, okay, time for the truth to come out. Time to reveal the truth. Time to share this with myself. Time to be vulnerable. Time to open up. Time for something to be exposed. Some of you, some of you do need like literal sexual healing too. Um, some of you also may be discovering that you have um, some sort of powerful gift that's going to bring you abundance. especially if you have some sort of healing hands or something dealing with healing energy. Maybe you were to too codependent on your job or you're real realizing that you were codependent to something and now you're, um, you're, you've seen it. You, you're seeing something, your reality for what it really is so that you can become detached from it. It's like you need to see the, the truth because right now here, something you were in a dark about something. Your judgment was clouded. I also feel like someone is expressing something in regards to their sexuality um, or their sexual fantasies or something someone does for a living sexually. So I don't know, it could be a new model, it could be, um, you know, a dancer. And I, I've gotten this, I got this before in the pick of cards. Um, it could be someone who Maybe they just work on the set. Maybe it's not necessarily that they're in front of the camera, but maybe they work behind the scenes um, of an adult industry. Whatever the case with uh, fifth chakra, you know, someone's speaking the truth and you're going to find fulfillment. I feel like there's going to be happiness and I'm seeing the 11 on here. So 11, 11 or, you know, synchronicities of one, one, one could just be significant for you guys this weekend as well because spirits trying to get your attention about something too and I'm, I'm seeing something about this five 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 you know so some sort of changes could be on the way 
All right, so I hope this has helped. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.